Military men have literally taken over most parts of Oweri, the Imo state capital, as insecurity heightened in the state. The Punch newspaper has reported. This came after unknown gunmen raced down the home country home of the state governor, Hope Uzodima, in Omuma on Saturday, killing no fewer than three security operatives. The government also struck on Monday by killing no fewer than six policemen at Okibe South Police Area Command Headquarters, situated in Oriagu in Ehite, Ehimemba, no local government area of the state. On Sunday night, hoodlums were laid and shot the state commissioner for entrepreneurship and skills acquisition, Aik Umer, at Oji on Oweri Okigwe Road, even as they shot other motorists. According to the Punch newspaper, the attacks came after security operatives in a joint operation killed the commander of the Eastern Security Network in the Southeast. Simply identified as Ikonso on Saturday in his whole house in Awomama in the Oru East local government area of the state. On Tuesday, a military helicopter took over the sky in Oweri in an apparent search for the attackers. This was as security men took over the state capital, cordoning off major roads and streets, which compelled motorists to play to ply single lanes. The roads leading to the state government house command police headquarters, the Oweri Correctional Centers were barricaded as security operatives wielding rifle mounted strategic locations. Also, the bank road, warehouse road, was taken over by soldiers as motorists were forced to make use of a single lane. The people were forced to raise their hands above their heads as they trekked past the military checkpoints. Also, Rhodes was also cordoned off at the Amausa area of the state on Douglas Road, a settlement for all the Hausa people living in the state. Soldiers were sighted, mounting different locations as commercial activities went on, skeletally in the area. Military helicopter was hovering around continuously around Government House, Mbari Road, Ikenebu, Okigwe, Douglas, Wedral Roads, and other parts in the state capital. Also, the helicopter also hovered around the residential areas as residents got frightened. The development also caused people to close shops very early as others stayed back at their homes. The punch correspondent observed that many parents had withdrawn their children and wards from schools following the rising insecurity in the state. Popular pubs were almost empty as the development affected the economy of the state. People were seen frightened as they move around in fear while some were seen walking fast past places where they feel insecure about that is the situation of things in the state as it is helicopters were seen hovering around um, the government house and the state police headquarters in apparent surveillance and the protection of the government house the state police headquarters and the Oweri Correctional Center, which were attacked the last time it was attacked. Well, it is what it is, guys. That is the situation of things in the country today. What are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? Is this the solution to the problem? Or is this a preventive method to uh, forestall any more attack? Don't forget that the governor of Imo State has not been seen in public since Saturday that this attack has happened. 
nobody knows his current whereabouts as it is as residents have continued to call for his reactions to the situation of things in the state. But however, it remains to be seen what the true situation of things would be or are at the moment. But be that as it were, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? The level of insecurity in the country today, especially in the southeast now, has gone to another level. And people are so scared, they, are not, they don't even know what to do or what is what. The question now is, what or how do they move, move ahead or forge ahead? Because the businesses are being affected, the economy of the state is also affected. The question now is, to what end is these activities of the unknown government and um, the attacks that has actually been going on? What is responsible? It is sad and unfortunate, but nobody seems to know what the way forward is so far. But be that as it is, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? Do you think that with all that is going on, the state would be back to normal? The region will experience normal peace. Some are saying that this is to push the federal government to uh, declare um, a date for a referendum so that the people can vote if they want to be part of Nigeria or move and go their separate ways. Well, it is what it is. There are so many theories to this particular situation of things in the country today. Nobody seems to be sure of what exactly is the right thing or the true state and status of all that is going on. But with the heavy presence of soldiers, security personnel deployed to Imo State, the fact remains that the people are scared. The people are tensed. The situation in the state is tensed. The situation in the southeast is as well tensed. Nobody knows for sure what will happen or uh, what may eventually become of the state. We keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold. Other nearby states as well are also taking precautionary measures, just like um, the um, river state had um, imposed a curfew on all their borders, the land borders into the state. This is as well to prevent the inflow or incoming of the unknown gunmen into the states to wreak havoc. Drop by at the comment section, let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Endeavor to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much guys, I appreciate your support and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.